Hey everyone, uh, a while ago I published a video wherein I detailed a few studies investigating the minimum effective volume for maintaining muscle mass, meaning the least amount of work a person can get away with in the gym, yet maintain their muscle. Well, I decided to run the experiment on myself and see if I could maintain my muscle without having access to my traditional gym equipment. Here's what happened. Learn your body, a science-based education. So this video is releasing as a lot of gyms are or were closed. And as I used to go to the gym five to six days a week, it certainly hit me hard that I suddenly didn't have access. Over the last 10 months or so, I've switched my training from my usual deadlifting, barbell rows, leg presses, and other compound exercises to everything dumbbell only. However, I not only switched to dumbbell only, I also cut the amount of work I do in the gym from around 20 sets a week to just six sets a week. So I cut my volume, or the total amount of work, to one third of the original. That's based off of a study that I covered a while back that came to the conclusion that for muscle maintenance, a young or middle-aged person can maintain their musculature at one third of the volume it took to gain that muscle. Technically, they also showed one ninth of the volume was effective, but I didn't want to push it, plus I still wanted to enjoy myself. Obviously, I was afraid I might lose muscle mass over that time, especially since around September, I began also changing my nutrition for a fat loss period. So far fewer calories, far less muscle stimulation, and all of that kept up for 10 months about half the time in a calorie deficit. So how did my physique fare? 100% fine. I ultimately maintained my muscle mass fully, even in a severe calorie deficit, which just adds one more pseudo data point to the study, showing that it is indeed correct. And not only when maintaining a nutrition that sustains muscle mass or grows it, but even in a steep calorie deficit that would be overall catabolic. I lost about 20 pounds, some of that being glycogen, but once I carb back up, I'll regain several pounds. So I'd estimate about 15 pounds of fat loss. Still, for the amount of effort I put in, it's remarkable how well the body can preserve a high level of muscularity with little stimulation. So I hope that this puts your mind at ease. If you're one of those people that feels they'll lose all of their gains if they're limited on the gym equipment or time, even if it's for almost a year's time, fear not. I ran the experiment. If you'd like to see the video on the study showing this to be true, then just simply click here. And with that, I hope to see you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.